Hi friends, welcome to FFE, Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Program. My name is Casey Hayes. I'm the Registered Dietitian for Pueblo District 60 and SFE. And this is my Quadrant Manager, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, hi friends. We are here at Morton Elementary in the cafeteria, and today we're gonna learn about cauliflower. Wow, that's interesting name. Do you like cauliflower? I do. I know I, I have some family and some children at home who don't like cauliflower. It's not a favorite in the family. It kind of gets I like it. dinky. Very stinky. Kind of like broccoli. Yes. But if we cook it, some of that stinky goes away. We're going to look at this cauliflower today and use our five senses. This is what a cauliflower looks like when it grows in the ground. It has all these leaves that cover it up and protect it. And the top of it is made out of all these little bumps. What do these bumps kind of remind you of? What does it look like? It reminds me of our brain. It does kind of look like it our brain. Even on the inside, it looks like our brain. Our brain is shaped that same way inside of our head to help us think. See all those branches? It looks like a big tree, but it can go to different places and it can help us think of things. I can see why it looks like our brain. And when we're in school and we learn new things, it creates new branches to help us remember. How interesting. Isn't it? Now, cauliflowers are great for our brains. They have vitamin K, which is a brain booster. It helps Ooh. us to remember things. So you can remember cauliflowers look like a brain and they help us think with our brain boosters. Now, we're gonna use our five senses and we're going to Look at the cauliflower. What does it look like other than like a brain? Kind of hard. It is kind of hard, and that's why people it's cook it. It's real bumpy. Mm -hmm. How about smell? It's what does it smell like? Kind of stinky. Kind of stinky, like something's no good, huh? Yes. Yeah. That's why we need to cook it, though. But the reason why it's stinky is it has sulfur in it. Our body needs sulfur sometimes. Did what you know that? What does sulfur do? Sulfur helps us to build DNA. Now DNA is a really magical thing inside of our bodies. It tells our body when we repair what we look like. Wow, how interesting. So if our DNA is really healthy, then it can build healthy new cells, like when we skin our knee or break our arm. And as we grow taller, it tells us what we're gonna look like. How interesting. So this is good for growth and strength and good DNA. Now, let's eat some of it and see what it sounds like. Crunchy. Very crunchy and kind of waxy, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite way of eating it? I like to eat it cooked with a lot of butter. And I, like, I like to eat it with cheese, melted mm. cheese on it. Mm. I also know some people like to eat it raw and dip it in ranch dressing or hummus. I do like hummus. it with ranch. We can eat it with like carrots and celery and stuff. It's a good veggie with all the other veggies. A lot of people like to eat it on salads too. See the cauliflower on the salad? That looks like such a good salad with all of our veggies that we have. Yep, celery, cauliflower, carrots, and all of our healthy greens. We should be really healthy after eating this salad. We should, and it fills up your stomach, and it feeds all your good bacteria in your stomach. So it's a win-win. It is. Let's see, we looked at a cauliflower, we smelled a cauliflower, we listened to it as we ate it, we felt it, and it was kind of bumpy, mm -hmm. and we tasted it. A little bit bitter with sulfur in it, A little huh? bit, yes. So why else should we eat it? I think there might be vitamins and nutrients in it. What kind of vitamins and nutrients? Well, we talked about vitamin K being good for our brain. Then, again, like all the other fruits and vegetables we're eating, it's high in vitamin C, which keep us yep. healthy in the winter. Then we probably need to start eating it. It also has folate in it, which is a vitamin B. Vitamin Bs are very good for our body. They help us to metabolize food so that we can use our energy appropriately. Kind of like a superfood, huh? It is a superfood. Then it has those really big ones with the big names like magnesium and calcium. And those are minerals in the ground. Magnesium calms down our body, helps us sleep, and helps us poop. 
so it's good to eat it. it has lots and lots of fiber in it too which helps to clean out our gut vegetables and fruits are so healthy and amazing aren't they they are i'm so glad you're here to teach us about all this casey they also have antioxidants which are good for our heart repair our cells lower inflammation inflammation is kind of like when your joints hurt when you're growing and stuff or like if your grandma says i can't help you do that because my fingers hurt that's inflammation it lowers inflammation and antioxidants help our cells to grow good and fight all the bad guy germs inside of it's our body. It's a fighter. It's a fighter. So do you think our friends are gonna like this when they eat it today at FFB? Probably not. Probably not. It kind of is a funny flavor. That's what everybody we... should get it and smell it yeah. and feel it and just taste it. Use all your five senses. But even though you might not like it today, sometimes our mouth needs to taste it 10 times before we like it. Sometimes you have to grow up to begin an adult to like it, but it's still good to try it because it it's so healthy for us. So thank you guys for joining us today for FFB. Thank you.